I'm going to show you five proven ways to promote your new YouTube channel, which will guarantee views. And I've used these exact same methods to promote my videos. One of them like this, for example, which the initial boost from promotion led to now over 317,000 views. Wow. And something you might not know is that when I first posted this video, I only had 40 subscribers. So let's get right into this. And the first method I like to use is online groups. So anywhere online where people can kind of dynamically sort themselves into communities. So whether that's Discord, whether that's a Reddit community, whether that's a Facebook group, you get the idea. Now, I know lots of you guys are probably already doing this, especially on Reddit and Facebook, but chances are I'd be willing to bet you're doing it wrong. So what most of you guys do is you might come over, head over here to Facebook, you'll open it up, you'll search for some sort of YouTube promotion group like this. And one of these groups will come up, you'll join it and you'll start posting your videos in these groups. But let's take a step back. Why is it that these people are in this group in the first place. Well, these people are in these groups because they are small YouTubers trying to get more views on their videos, just like you. So let's say that you have an Overwatch channel. You can promote your video in this group and it might be seen by people, but it's not necessarily going to be seen by people who want to watch Overwatch videos. It's going to be seen by small YouTubers who want to promote their own channels. And chances are only a very small percentage of those people are actually genuinely interested in Overwatch videos. So what this leads to is one, not many people actually actioning or clicking on your promotion. And two, if people do click on your promotion and check out your video, most of the time, it's not because they're genuinely interested in your video. Most of the time, it's just because they want to support you as a small YouTuber, which actually has negative effects. Because then what happens is the YouTube algorithm looks at the views your video is generating and it goes, oh, okay, lots of small YouTubers are watching this Overwatch video. So maybe we should promote this video organically on YouTube to other people who are small YouTubers trying to get views and subscribers. And what happens when the algorithm promotes your Overwatch video to this audience is that very few of them click. And if some of them click, they usually don't watch because those people aren't interested in watching an Overwatch video. They're more interested in watching a video about how to grow their YouTube channel. And so the problem is the YouTube algorithm doesn't really know this just because you've confused it by sending it the wrong data, sending the wrong people to your video early on. And it just thinks, oh, okay, well, this just must be a bad video. And it stops promoting it, kills your video, and you stop getting views. So do not make that mistake. What you want to do instead is what I'm about to show you. Come to Facebook and look for groups that will be full of people, whether it's on Facebook or Reddit or whatever group software we're using in this case, look for groups that will be full of people who would genuinely actually be interested in the types of videos you're putting out there. And if we're to continue with our Overwatch example, you don't even want to go not necessarily to gaming communities because that's still too general because just because someone's a gamer doesn't necessarily mean they like Overwatch. They might be into say League of Legends or Star Wars Battlefront or something else like that. What you want to do is find something even more specific. So like an Overwatch community or even better, let's say you have a specific type of Overwatch video on your channel. Let's say it's like how to's and guides and tips and tricks videos. You want to try and find a community that is dedicated for people who are trying to get better at Overwatch, who are looking for tips and tricks and how to's and all that kind of thing. Because those people in that group are going to be the ideal viewers for your video. And if you manage to get those people to click on your videos and the algorithm goes, oh, lots of Overwatch players who are trying to get better at the game or watching this video, I should promote this video to more Overwatch players who are wanting to get better at the game. Those people the algorithm promotes your video to are all of a sudden now much more likely to actually click on your video, much more likely to watch your video and to send the algorithm positive signals, which will make it to promote you to more and more and more people instead of just killing your video like we talked about earlier. But you can't just go in there and post promotions and spam because you're going to get blocked and everyone's going to hate you. What you want to do is find a group, let's say like this. You want to join this group and join a bunch of groups like this. Join all of the groups you can that are relevant to the whatever type of content it is you're creating. And then when you're in these groups, don't promote, just engage with the community, engage with all the posts people are putting out. Create posts, but just pure value. Don't even mention the fact that you're a content creator, a YouTuber or anything like that. Just build relationships, add value. And while you're doing this in all of these groups, try to monitor what types of posts get the most engagement, not just from you, but from all the other members. Like, is it tips and tricks posts? Is it how to posts? Is it questions? Whatever it is, 
try to figure that out because that information is going to be really valuable to us in a later step. Now, once you've been engaging in this community for long enough and frequently enough that people in the community are actually starting to recognize you. So sometimes this can take a week, sometimes this can take two, three, four weeks. What you want to do is you want to use the market research you've been doing, which is observing what types of posts really seem to get the most engagement, comments, likes in these groups that you're monitoring. And you want to create a video around the topics or types of posts that are getting the most engagement. For example, let's say it's tips and tricks posts that get the most engagement in your communities. You wanna create a tips and tricks YouTube video, or you might even already have one of these videos in your channel, which makes things a lot easier. And then we're going to the admins who at this point have surely seen us being legends in the community. And we're asking them, hey, can we share something that is highly relevant to the group that has already been proven to have a lot of interest from group members. And chances are they're gonna say, yeah, of course, because what they want is more people like you who are keeping the group active and engaged. They're gonna try and encourage you and your behavior. And at this point, you'll be able to make that Reddit post or that Discord post or that Facebook post. And again, make it relevant to the group like you did with the admins. Be like, hey, I saw this post about such and such as tips and tricks. Earlier in the week inspired me to create my own tips and tricks video. These have really helped me get a lot better at Overwatch. Check it out, you might like them. And then what you wanna do is you wanna leave a link to that video in the post. Try not to upload your video directly to say Facebook or Reddit or whatever it is. You wanna use a link because you want people to go from Reddit or Facebook or whatever to YouTube so they can have a higher chance of one, the view actually being counted, but more importantly, them actually subscribing or commenting or liking the video. And then in that post, you can just attach an image that really represents the video, often it can just be the thumbnail of the video. And yes, this is all a lot more work than just spamming links out into those YouTube promotion communities. But hopefully you can see now how with this extra work, we're gonna be getting a much higher caliber of traffic that's actually gonna help us grow our channel as opposed to confuse the algorithm. And in the process of this, you've also done market research because often what you'll find is that the posts that are getting the most attention in these groups, often those topics will work really well organically on YouTube. But this can be a lot of work, so it's not necessarily my favorite method on this list. We'll talk about my favorite method later, but it can really work for some people, especially if you're in the type of community where you have a lot of large groups that are frequented by the types of people who would genuinely wanna watch your videos. The next way to promote your videos is through Q and A sites. A really obvious example of this would be say Quora, but often a lot of niches will have their own specific forums dedicated to that specific topic, whatever it is. And this one's pretty simple. What you can do is go onto these forums, find questions that are highly related to and answerable by the videos you create. And then you just answer that question and drop a link to your video. If your video directly answers the question, you can be like, hey, created a video about this exact topic, check it out, it'll fully answer your question. Or if your video is just like a partial answer to their question, or is just an example that would be highly relevant to their question, you can do something more along the lines of actually answering the question and at the end being like, hey, here's a video I created around this topic, or here's an example video I created if you wanna explore this more in depth. And as you can see, some of these Quora questions get a ton of views relative to probably how many views your videos are getting right now. But again, be careful here. You don't want to attract the wrong audience. For example, if someone's asking a genuine question about something and your video is not related to that question at all, don't use mental gymnastics to try and find a way to maybe possibly make your video relevant to their question just to get them to watch it. Because again, you're gonna confuse the algorithm with the wrong data. So this option can work really well for some of you guys, but for some of you, you might have more general channels with videos that aren't even related to people, say, asking questions. And for those of you, you might be better off with our next point on this list, which is social media. Specifically, I'm talking about platforms where you're creating content and putting it out there and it's promoted more so by algorithms rather than via groups. So, you know, we're talking Instagram, like Facebook pages, TikTok, et cetera, et cetera. And again, a lot of you guys have probably tried this, but most of you are doing it wrong. See, what you don't want to do, which is what most of you are doing, is you're creating these pages, Facebook pages, these Instagram accounts, these TikTok accounts, and you're basically creating promotions on there for your YouTube videos. But think about this. Would you follow and engage with an Instagram account that all it did was just post promotions for their YouTube videos? Hell no. It's not adding very much value to you in your Instagram feed. So what you want to do instead is you want to go on Instagram accounts and kind of like this one, you want to create the type of content 
that would actively attract the kind of person who would want to subscribe to your channel. Just create the content and then allow them to naturally find your YouTube channel in your bio, or you can potentially hint at it in the description of your posts. And you'll find it a lot easier to attract attention if you start approaching your social media promotions from this angle. But again, that one can be a bit of work because at that point you're, you're creating multiple social media accounts as well as your YouTube channel. So if you don't have time to really invest into doing something like that, these next two points will work really well for you. In fact, they're probably my favorite promotional methods when it comes to small YouTube channels. So the first one is your YouTube account. Yes, think about this. Your YouTube account can be used to promote your YouTube channel. Let me give you two examples. Whenever you comment on another video, people can click on your profile picture on your channel name and end up on your channel and potentially watch some of your videos. And this can be pretty effective because when you think about it, if someone's on TikTok or on Instagram or on Facebook or on Reddit, you have to get over the friction of taking them from Reddit, which is the platform they went to and the platform they're currently engaging with and the fact that they're engaging with, assume they're satisfied with it. You have to take them off that platform and get them onto another platform, which is YouTube. In this case, people are already on YouTube. So you don't have that extra level of friction. They can just click across your channel and easily start watching some of your videos, which is what they came to YouTube to do. Watch videos. It just so happens they're now watching your videos. But you want to be very careful with this. Do not spam, obviously. If you don't care about the fact that it's morally wrong to do, heed the fact that YouTube will block your account and shadow ban you and you'll get a reputation that will lead to your comments actually just not showing up on videos until creators approve them even when you're not spamming. But what you can do is just genuinely engage with the community, with your competitors' videos, with other small YouTubers in your community. Again, add value, build relationships, and you'll find that some of those people will start trickling back to your channel and become really loyal and engaged viewers. But then another really easy and obvious, but so many people overlook this, way to promote your YouTube channel using your YouTube account is to promote your videos in your own videos. You have end screens that you can go to YouTube when you're uploading your video. When you get to this particular point in the upload process, you can come down and click on this button to add an end screen. Then you come up and you click here. You're going to see this menu. Then you click on this option and this is going to allow you to actually add a video from your channel. You can click here to edit and select the video that you want to promote. And then that video is going to show up as a clickable link and icon show up with the thumbnail at the end of one of your videos, allowing viewers of one of your videos to then go and watch another one of your videos. I've seen between you know, 20 and 30% of viewers of your videos can actually click on those end screens. So let's say you have a video where you get 30 people to watch your video all the way to the end. That's potentially an extra 10 views that you've just generated by using an end screen by getting 10 of those 30 people, so like 30%, across to another one of your videos from nothing. You've had to do no extra work except just add an end screen. And YouTube also really, really likes this because it builds what it's called session time. So it builds the overall watch time of your YouTube channel. And that'll lead to YouTube promoting you more organically. And speaking of promoting on YouTube, the other way that you can promote on YouTube is probably my favorite overall way is promoting in other people's videos. And no, I'm not talking about spamming the comment sections of these other videos. We're talking about collaborations. So a collaboration is where you and another YouTuber or potentially multiple YouTubers team up to mutually promote or create content together. And naturally their audience then finds out about you, your audience finds out about them and it's a win-win. And again, this is another one of those ones that most people think they don't work because they think, oh, I've only got a really small channel. No one would want to collaborate with me or like, oh, even if I did collaborate with someone, I've only got 20 subscribers. So it's probably not going to add much value to them. No, you're doing it wrong. Here's what you want to do. So essentially there are two main types of ways to collaborate. There are, there are actually a ton, but there are two main ones that a lot of people will go over. The first one is cross promotion. And this is where you will agree to shout out someone or whoever your collaboration partner is, um, whether that's in a video or whether that's in your community tab or whatever it is, and they will do the same thing to you. So basically you're giving them a shout out. They're giving you a shout out. The second way you can do this is through what I call like a dyad collab, which is where you guys actively create content together. So you might come together, record one or two videos together while you guys are actually interacting and engaging with each other. And then you take that footage, you cut it down, you post one video on your channel and one video on their channel. And so what happens is their viewers 
watch that video and they're naturally introduced to you and your channel through that video. And if they like you through that video, then often they'll come across and they'll try to find your channel and then they become loyal viewers of your channel and vice versa, right? So it's a real win-win here. But the thing is, in order for this to actually be valuable for you and worth your time, you want to actually be doing collaborations with channels that are, you know, on the larger side. So they have audiences who are actually going to see you when you guys promote each other's videos and promote each other's channels. The way you want to do this, especially if you're a small channel, is think about a collaboration in terms of it being a value exchange. So one form of value is you're giving your collaboration partner exposure to your audience through a promotion or a shout out. And in exchange, they're giving you value through promotion to their audience through, you know, again, promotion or whatever. But exposure is not the only form of value on YouTube. One of the most valuable things on YouTube to YouTubers is time. It takes a lot of time to create and research and edit videos, but videos are the lifeblood of a channel. So a YouTuber has to invest a certain level of time into their channel if they want to grow. And so what you can do is instead of necessarily trading exposure with your collaboration partner, you can trade your time in exchange for their exposure. So for example, what this looked like for me was I had a skill where I was pretty good at editing when I was first starting. Uh, I was also pretty good at doing the YouTube research and figuring out what videos were going to work and what weren't. So I would approach YouTubers who are much larger than me and propose a collaboration with them. And normally I would do this by you go to their about section of their channel and you'll find their email listed in there. And I just send them an email and I'd say something along the lines of, Hey, I've got this really cool video idea. I think it could blow up for this and this and this reason. And I've done the research. I love your channel. I'd love to create it with you. I'm happy to do all the work. I'll design all the thumbnails. I'll do all of the editing, everything. All you have to do is just show up. We can record the video, have a bit of fun together. And at the end of it, in a couple of weeks, I'll give you a fully researched, fully edited, awesome video that you can post on your channel. We'll hopefully get a lot of views for you. And it might even bring some exposure to my channel as well. So you can see how this was a real win-win for them because they just have to spend whatever it is, half an hour, an hour recording with me. And then I do all of the work. I've done all the research. I create all the thumbnails. I design all the videos. I edit all the videos. And so for one hour of their time, they now have an awesome pre-researched video that they can post on their channel that will get a lot of views. And I knew my stuff. So like the videos actually did really well. I can show a couple of examples maybe on screen. And in exchange for that, I got exposure to their audience, which tended to be much larger than mine. And that grew my own audience. But ultimately, when it really comes down to it, where the majority of traffic comes from on YouTube and the majority of promotion is organically through the algorithm. There are multiple ways Ways that YouTube can promote your videos organically through the algorithm. For example, SEO, which is where you can get your video actually ranking and say search results and show up and get views there. The more common one and more beneficial one, usually in my opinion, is actually getting the algorithm to push your videos directly to viewers. So that'll be on their homepage. So when they open up their homepage, your video naturally pops up here without them even needing to search for anything. And that's your ultimate goal because across all the channels I've worked on, and I'm going to not so humbly brag here, but we've gotten over 3 billion with a B views. Wow. Out of every single one of those videos that has got hundreds of thousands of views, none of them promoted their way to success. We never got hundreds of thousands of views purely through promotion. It was always through the YouTube algorithm. Even the example video I showed you earlier, if we have a look at the analytics of this video, so if you come across to reach and you come down to how viewers find this video, what you can see is that roughly 60% of the views from this video actually came from YouTube search and another roughly 20% came from YouTube suggesting that video out to people and then about 10% then just came from, again, browse features is the same thing. YouTube kind of recommending the video directly to people. So if we come in here and we click on see more, and if we scroll down and we look for the external sources, which is basically how YouTube tends to categorize most of your promotional traffic if you've got traffic coming from Facebook or Reddit or whatever, what you can see is that only about a thousand of views from this video actually came from external, which is, you know, a significant amount, but compared to how much YouTube was able to promote for me is like nothing. And so while promoting sometimes can be valuable to gather data and just get the ball rolling when you're a really small channel, even then sometimes the best way to grow your channel is just through getting the YouTube algorithm to just organically push your video out to as many people as possible. And so if you want to learn how to get more organic promotion from the YouTube algorithm, click on the video on screen. I'll give you a step-by-step step practical guide on how to actually get the YouTube algorithm to love you in a romantic way.